to our hotel room in. Oh wait, too much. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's actually a shower. Ooh. Wow, this is actually really nice. It has a couch. Dang. We have a view, too. Let's see the outside. Oh, dang. You can see the outside of LA. We're like literally right beside the Staple Center. That's the Grammy Apple. Or whatever this thing is. Yeah, sorry we didn't vlog at all during like our, the Disneyland because it was really hard um, trying to vlog while we're like going places and it's really hectic there, especially today. So I tried to include some clips, but yeah, we're just going to get ready. Um, to chill and rest. So, yay! See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so we just got our dinner. Wow. Are we gonna keep this like plastic bag <laughs> for memory? <laughs> um. Okay. Just do an unboxing. Unbagging. Yeah. This is our first time having this because we've never, it's still, no, we've never had this in our lives. <gasps> oh my oh god! Oh my god, it's huge! What? Ew, the sauce is, there's like stuff it's cold. on it. Oh wow. Oh, and then so we much bought sauce. extra sauce. Oh frick, oh we're supposed to put the sauce on. Oh I see what oh, it's saying. Okay. That's, That's nice, so it's not get soggy. Yeah. We hot sauce. Maybe I'll do like one hot sauce. Oh That's my god, yours? that looks so good. I'm so excited. This is mine. Oh, she got jalapenos in hers, so she knows. <laughs> okay, you can show yours. Okay. You know? Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Camille's clearly so excited. <laughs> oh my god. And that's mine. And we're gonna put our sauce. So we're gonna go eat because we're starving and we're gonna watch a movie on Netflix. I am. Number four. I'm zooming it. In. <laughs> oh, you can't even see it. It's not focusing. But oh. okay. Bye. Bye.
So a great example of combining CGI with a picture car would be the gyrosphere that was used in Jurassic World. Do you guys remember the gyrosphere? The kids were in it and had that glass ball. Well, that glass ball never existed. You see, glass is very tricky to film with. If it's not angled perfectly, it's going to reflect everything in the background, and you'll see that on camera. So instead of trying to figure out how to angle a glass ball, they said forget it. We'll just use CGI to create the final product, and that's what you saw in theaters. Now that physical part of our gyrosphere hasn't returned yet from filming Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which we're all really excited about, comes out June 22nd. Really excited, especially because Jeff Goldblum is making a return. Sometimes they like to make an entrance. Let's see, where are they? decent mood. And um, that makes me happy. It's probably because the sun is out, it's bright and shining. But that is not always the case. Storms are storms off, a little bit of lightning, a little bit of thunder. We let that go on for a bit and then at the perfect moment, we make it rain. This is how we make it rain in the movies, folks. We use a highly sophisticated and intricate system called a sprinkler. <laughs> and that's it. We just shoot the water up, allow it to fall down to the ground naturally. You might notice the rain is only falling in specific places. We only need to fall where the axe would be standing, where the camera would be facing. The rest of it, we don't care. And if you're really observant, you notice that the rain drops are larger than used to seeing in nature. If you take a picture of no rain, you're barely going to see it. Think of all of the football and the baseball games that happen to rain, right? See, that doesn't work for us. We need you to know what you're looking at. So we made the range off extra large and go, ooh, that is a lot of work. Look at me, cut On your right hand side of three of the houses and one of the picture cars from How the Grinch Stole Christmas, directed by Ron Howard. Now the citizens of Whoville, they are very, very poor decision makers, folks. First they move in next door to the Grinch, to one of the largest sets ever created in Hollywood history. The crash site from Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. And in just a moment, Grant is going to stop the tram, and you'll have a quick opportunity to stand up and take a few pictures. I'll let you know when. Okay, you can stand. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision of the student. I'm going to sit down to talk about the good, the more the merry. Especially you right there in that third row, like I was saying. So, come on, look. so look, see over there? That's Hobbs Urban Assault Vehicle. Best truck the U.S. government can buy. But that work of art back over there was made by my man Tej. Think of it as like a Mona Lisa on
beer? Not tasted it yet. How do you like it? It's good. It tastes like butter, scotch, or like toffee. Oh, we got a slushy, not a actual beer. Yeah, it looks like beer. Right? <laughs>